News Channel. This is your KSAN News at 6. Welcome back. The numbers continue to add up tonight with just hours to go in the annual San Angelo Gives campaign. Now it's in its fifth year and well over $1 million again. Representatives from many of the organizations benefiting from San Angelo Gives are at the San Angelo Area Foundation tonight. Our Victor Glenn is there with more on the event. Victor? <laughs> Thank you, Mariah. I am here in the midst of Paintbrush Alley. Uh, Art in Uncommon Places is one of the organizations that is part of the San Angelo Area Foundation's uh, Day of Giving. Uh, a lot of things went into going, uh, sorry, a lot of things went into pulling all of this together for the Day of Giving. I spoke with some of the uh, Area Foundation administrators, and I have that story for you now as today's News Connection. So the San Angelo Area Foundation started in 2002 by uh, the San Angelo Health Foundation. Uh, they saw the need for having a flexible charitable vehicle to manage endowments and manage uh, charitable giving for donors that wanted to uh, benefit a variety of causes. Over the previous four years that the Area Foundation has held their Day of Giving fundraiser, nearly $5 million has been collected and redistributed. In their entire time operating, the foundation has distributed roughly $90 million to worthy causes, the most prevalent of which is education. San Angelo Christian Academy is so excited to be a part of the Day of Giving with the Area Foundation. What a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together to support wonderful causes. One way the Day of Giving benefits the community is that it inspires many organizations to also give in support of one another. This is an exciting day for all of San Angelo, but uh, Cornerstone Christian Academy Christian school, we have a weekly chapel, and at each of those chapels, we take up a collection over the course of the year, and we earmark that to make a donation to another nonprofit here in San Angelo on the day of giving. These uh, funds from today, from Cornerstone, we're so excited about the partnership because that will allow us to uh, provide supplies, uh, snacks, visual aids, to be able to teach almost 2,000 children every week. The goal for this year's SAAF fundraiser is $1.85 million in the 24 hours that the event runs. And as you heard, the goal for the Day of Giving is $1.85 million. We are close to that. It's at $1.7 million, and about 10000 of that was raised with the help of Art in Uncommon Places. I'm here with their CEO, Joy Thomas, right now, who's going to tell us a little bit more about why they felt the need to help out with the Day of Giving, how they hope to contribute to the community, and what their goal is. Joy? Yes. Uh, the monies that we re uh, receive from Day of Giving will go back into public art. Uh, every penny that we get from either grants or private donations goes right back into um, art supplies and projects. All right. And uh, did you have a, a goal that Art in Uncommon Places wanted to reach today as part of the Day of Giving with the Area Foundation? We did. We wanted to reach $20,000 today. All right. And so you're about halfway there. How's that we feel? Are. Oh, it feels great. San Angelo is just the most giving community, and there are so many worthy uh, nonprofits in town, and they spread it across San Angelo. And speaking of uh, worthy causes in San Angelo, public art, uh, art in uncommon places has been spearheading the revitalization of Paintbrush Alley. We can see uh, the artists that helped signing the screen behind us, uh, the theme being giant. And, and how does it feel to, to, to re-beautify downtown? Oh, my goodness. Downtown is... I, it just is so I'm from San Angelo. I've lived here all my life. I grew up downtown, movies. Uh, and we had we started with 20 artists and we ended up with 50 talented artists from across San Angelo, all local artists. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for beautifying downtown. And Mariah, back to you. All right. Thank you, Victor. Don't go anywhere. Rachel Huff Sports right after this break. This portion of the news is sponsored.